Let's start with Ihan Bomb's move to Michelin. He's going to be joining Cho Sung at the Danish club, Paul. Yes, he signed a four-year contract. He's been given the number three shirt as well. And, um, well, yeah, I think he'll be a regular for, for Michelin. Fee is believed to be around $1.5 million or around mm-hmm. 2 billion Korean won. He's in the, in the squad for the Asian Games, so he will be hoping to earn military exemption quite soon. But, you know, we've seen him play a number of times this season and last. He's brought a calmness to FC Seoul's back four um, when he finally did return from injury this season. He's very composed, good passer, and I think he's learned a lot, a lot, obviously, from Osmar. You know, what, what a player to learn from he must have been for, for any young player, really. Uh, he's, you know, he's quite a forward thinking, very much a modern centre back, a ball playing centre back, and you know, bit of a cliche, but wisdom beyond his years, I think, is something that you would say about Ihan Bom. He's been first choice for Seoul for the last two seasons. Really, he made eighteen appearances so far this season. Would have made more had it not have been for injury. Um, he's missed just one through suspension when fit. And yeah, he's, last season he played 23 times and missed eight games through injury. In, in terms of his passing accuracy, it's 91.3%, four passes, 84%, long passes, 53.5%, balls into the final third accuracy, 74%. So he's, as you can probably see, you know, as a centre back, he will have a lot of the ball, and he, and he has in that FC Seoul team in the way that they have been playing under the now ex-manager, Anik Su. But I want, I want to just uh, read something to you that uh, Osmar said, so, said about me, said about me, said to <laughs> me about E. Hanbom. He didn't say this about me. He said, Hanbom, for me, I think is a key player right now, a masterpiece for us. This is what he said to me uh, in late May, early June. He said he and Kim Ju Song, they've been very solid. They don't make mistakes. They know what to do. They are calm with the ball. They are strong in defense. And I've been playing all these years with a short leash because I couldn't do much in attack. But because of all the coaches were a little worried about defense, he's had to sort of rein it in a little bit. But now, well, that up until now, Seoul had had, had Lee Hanbaum and Kim Ju Song there in defense, very calm and very composed. And so they've, um, they've allowed Osmar to get a bit more forward. And it just shows, well, both very, very young. Ian Bomb's 21. It just shows how how well thought of he was at FC Seoul and the trust that they had in him. So, yeah, he's. I think he's going to be a very good player. I think Denmark, interesting move. Good luck to him. And, yeah, um, yeah I mean, it's obviously came in a bit all of a sudden. Seoul will miss him. He's their first choice centre-back. They don't really have too many other options because... As we saw against Old Sun at the weekend, Osmar dropped back into that uh, back four, playing on the right side of the centre backs. He's normally on the left, being left footed, but Kim Ju Song is also left footed. And being the less experienced of the two, Osmar probably had to sort of, you know, I'll, okay, I'll play on the right hand side. Big blow for Seoul, but good luck to Ihan Bom. Yeah, uh, indeed. And uh, second entry. Uh, into the K-League market for Michelin. Um, is Denmark the new gateway to Europe for young talent, Paul? Well, it's funny you ask that because a few years ago, just before Hwang Bom moved to MLS with uh, the Whitecaps, John claude Bosge, of course, who was a teammate with Hwang Bom at Dejon in 2016, he called me to try and see what I could do about maybe having... Inbom go to Denmark and not MLS because he believed that he'd be a good league for him and a good stepping stone into Europe. Obviously, now we know Wang Inbom has played in Europe. He's with Olympiakos, although that is another matter entirely yeah. at, at the moment with uh, his contract situation. But at the time, John Claude Bosger, this was in 2019, of course, he was with uh, HB Kuger. Maybe I'm pronouncing that right. And obviously, he knew the league very, very well. And um, he thought it'd be a better way to get into Europe than obviously going to MLS because MLS is a bit of a a bit of a detour. And it turned out to be just that. But yeah, maybe. I mean, Michelin, they're an ambitious club. They've, yeah. they've sort of risen through the, the sort of the pyramid in Denmark. And they're in, in Europe not so long back. Yeah. And um... they've obviously seen that this is a good, a good sort of, 
stepping stone for young Korean players to make their move in, into Europe. 